All right, today I've got two salmon and one brown trout with me, all males. I'm gonna show you how to fillet them. I fillet these guys in a similar way that I fillet panfish, walleye, and bass. First thing I do is I start right behind the gill plate here with the knife, angle it back at a 45 degree angle, and cut down until I hit the spine. And next thing I do is I take the knife, insert it around right there, right above the spine, and I run it along the spine going up. I do the same thing going down. Nice and close to the spine so you get all the meat. Right around this area where the back, this back dorsal fin, um, I guess it's the only dorsal fin, uh, right around the, uh, the back of it is where the ribs end. So you can push the knife all the way through and then cut all the way down like this. Now I leave these guys with the skin on, so I'm gonna just cut the skin right there. Next thing I do is I'll flip the fish and start taking swipes. Right here, right along the spine. Until I reach the lateral line, and the lateral line starts right around here right where the color changes on the salmon. And right around the lateral line, you're gonna run into a row of pin bones, just like with walleye and just like with bass, but the ribs are gonna be shaped a little bit different. And by ribs, I mean uh, the ribs start at the same point that the, rib, the pin bones start. So you're gonna to wanna to cut through the pin bones, but not through the ribs. And to do that, you're gonna angle your knife up and around ever so gently, less gently on a salmon than on a walleye or a bass. The, the ribs are, uh, on a walleye and bass are concave and the ribs on a salmon are less concave if that makes any sense so I'm just gonna cut through those those pin bones the ribs are almost flat on a salmon so you want to like keep the knife level pretty much less concave like I said and you just want to keep cutting down until you reach the belly meat here. Then you want to cut it off and you have a nice fillet there. Now the scales on these guys are so fine that you can eat them and uh, not notice them. So a lot of people keep the scales on and that's what I'm going to do and keep the skin on and cook the skin with the meat. A lot of the nutrients are in the skin as well. Next thing I'll do is I'll flip the fish I'll do the same thing again, right behind the, the uh, ear flap there. I'll make a cut back to the uh, backbone. Then I'll just run the knife along the back of the fish, right above the spine. And right around right here, you can push the knife all the way through, like I said before. And just run it above the backbone if it lets you until you reach the tail and then cut through normally I leave this tail flap on so I can cut the skin off but I'm keeping the skin on these fillets so I'm just gonna cut through at that point next thing I do is I take some swipes until I meet those pin bones The meat's a little bit smushy and a little bit bland on Atlantic salmon, but they're still an okay fish to eat, I think. Some people really love them. They're not one of my favorites, but I do enjoy all fish pretty much, more than uh, most other meats. So you want to take some swipes until you meet those pin bones. This meat's really smushing on me. There we go. I got it. Then you want to cut through those pin bones. And then you want to cut down the ribs. Like that. So it looks nice and uh, 
smooth here. I know that looked a little rough for a second, but I actually did a decent job. You want to see these ribs shining through the meat. That means you know you got a close shave. And you just want to... You just want to cut this off right near the base of the belly. Ta-da! Alright, there's one filet. One thing you want to do once you finish this is take the pin bones out. And to take the pin bones out, the pin bones stand up vertically in the meat. You can feel them right here, right along the lateral line. So to take them out, they only last for the duration of the rib, so you only want to go about halfway on the filet. To take them out, you just cut a strip out. Like so. Just like that, and all your pin bones are right in there. And then you got yourself a beautiful salmon filet. Do this to the other filet quick. Throw that pin bone strip to the side. Feel the pin bones are right along here. Right where my finger is. You can feel them standing up in the meat. There we go. There's a nice second filet. I'm going to filet this buck brown trout now. Just a small one. 21 incher. I'm going to do the same exact thing that I did with the salmon pretty much. First thing I do is I clip them in. Then right behind the gill flap, I cut back at a 45 degree angle. I stick the knife in around right there, run, run the knife up, and then run the knife down. Stick the knife all the way through right there, and cut through the end there. Oh, look at that meat. That's nice and red. That's going to be tasty. I really enjoy eating these trout more than I enjoy eating the salmon. They just have a, a better taste to them. For me at least. But I know other people disagree. And that's totally fine. Whatever floats your boat. Man, look at that pink meat. So I just take some swipes down here. We're just going to do literally the same thing all over again. Cut through the pin bones. You can hear the clicking. Those are all pin bones right there. And then just cut down along the ribs. Until you reach the belly meat. And then once you reach the belly, you want to take it like that. And you got yourself a nice, beautiful brown trout filet. Look how orange that is. That's really nice. I just got to take the pin bones out. I'll do that right at the end here. You want to flip the trout, stick it back in. Make sure everything's good, flat, and uh, massaged. See, the skin gets a little wrinkly because I stick them in the fridge for a day before I cut them up. going to do the same exact thing again. Right around right here you want to stick it all the way through. Make sure your knife is good and level there. You want to be pressing against the backbone when you do this. So 
so you get a nice close shave to the to the bone structure. Next thing you want to do is you want to take some swipes down. It's always harder to do the back side, I swear. It always has been for me. I've gotten used to it over the years, but on any fish really. I mean, they all have similar bone structures. The ones I catch around here for the most part. The only ones that are really different are pike and catfish. Take this up a little bit so I can get some leverage here. Just want to cut through these pin bones here. You can hear it. You can hear it cutting through them. And you want to take it down along the ribs. My knife's getting dull after one fish. <laughs> it must have hit a lot of bones on the first one. There you go. Another beautiful trout fillet. Alright, one last thing, just take the pin bones out, to do that, you just feel for them, they're right here along the lateral line, you take a swipe above and below, and here I just grazed them right there, and then you cut below your, uh, your pin bone strip, and then you take it out and you throw it aside. And then you do that for your other fillet here. The pin bones are right, right here, right below my fingertip. You know, just want to take three swipes like that and then unzipper. And then throw that aside. I missed a little bit. There we go. And there she is. A beautiful trout fillet. Skin on. trout fillets and two salmon fillets. There we go.